this video, I'll be testing a 1 minute scalping strategy created by Soheel PKO. I'll be back testing this 100 times using your USD to see if we can really make money with this. So first head on over to TradingView and for this strategy, we're going to need 3 indicators. So go to the indicators tab and for the first 2 indicators, we're going to need 2 Keltner channels. Now let's make some adjustments to the first Keltner channel. We're going to go to style, change the upper color to reds, change the lower color to red also and uncheck the basis middle box. Now let's make some adjustments to the second Keltner channel and for this we're going to go to style, uncheck the basis and change the multiplier to 3. Okay, so in this strategy, we're going to be using the Keltner channels for oversold and overbought conditions. As you can see, it has two bands, one below price action and one above price action. So when it comes into the upper band, that's signifying that price is overbought. And when it comes into the lower band, that's signifying that price is oversold. And in this strategy, we're going to be using this to identify which way we want to take the trade. So now let's go and get the entry signal. And for this, we're going to need a smooth Heikenashi candles v1 by jack vmk let's make some adjustments to this in the settings also we're going to change both of these numbers to 11 and now we're set up so in this strategy we're going to be using this smooth heikenashi to find a new entry signal when it changes from red to green that's a new valid signal to go long and when it changes from green to red that's a new valid signal to go short so now it's going to break down the entry criterias okay so this is your entry criteria when looking for long positions first we need to make sure that prices came into the oversold condition and this is signified by price coming back into the lower Keltner channel bands. Now for it to be a valid signal to start looking for shorts, price must close beneath the orange line. Now once this happens, we're going to wait for our entry signal, which is this smooth Heikenashi changing from red to green. But before we can enter this, we need to make sure it's a valid signal to go long. And this is done by checking the price action candle and making sure that it hasn't closed in the upper band. So as we can see here, the candle that printed the green Heiko Nashi did not close in the upper band. So now we can take the instant execution, stop loss below the most recent swing low, and we're going to be targeting a 1 to 2 risk to reward. Okay, so a quick note, we're not going to be making price risk free, we're going to let the trade run to either stop loss or take profit. Let's go and take a look at another long signal. Okay, so as you can see, price came into the lower Keltner channel, signifying that price is oversold. So we now started to look for our long positions. We waited for the Heikenashi to change from red to green. And we also made sure that the candle this happened on was not closed in the upper Keltner channel. So now we can take the instant execution, stop loss below the most recent swing Low, and we will be targeting a 1 to 2 risk to reward. Okay, so now I was going to take a look at the sell criteria. Okay, so when looking for sells, the exact opposite is true. First, we need to make sure that prices came into the overbought condition, and this is signified by price closing in the Keltner upper channel band. Now, once this has occurred, we're going to wait for our entry signal, which is this smooth Heikenashi candles to change from green to red. But before we can enter this, we need to make sure that price is not closed in the lower band. Now, all these confirmations have been met. We can take the instant execution, stop loss above the most recent swing high and we will be targeting a 1 to 2 risk to reward. Okay, so let's go and look at another short example. As you can see, price became overbought and this was signified by price closing in the upper band of the Kellner channel. So then we waited for the green Heikenashi candles to change from green to red, signifying a new entry signal to go short. And we verified this trade by making sure that price action did not close in the lower channel bands. Now, once all these confirmations had been met, we're going to take the instant execution, stop loss above the most recent swing high, and we will be targeting a 1 to 2 risk the rewards. Okay, so now I'm going to go and back test this 100 times and come back to you with the results.
Okay, so in four days, I took 100 trades, 43 won and 57 lost, which means we had a win rate of 43%. Now, we also had a max drawdown of 4R and a max gain of 6R, which means we finished positive. Now, the win rate wasn't the best, but considering we're going for a 1 to 2 and we're also not making price break even, this can kind of be expected on the 1 minute time frame. Now, the net profit was 29% in 4 days, which is insane to think that you can make that much in 4 days. Now, do note, this is 24 hours worth of trading, which isn't realistic on the 1 minute time frame. You're probably only going to be trading this strategy for 3 hours a day, so I'm sure the results will vary. So, I'm definitely going to be testing this in my own session to see how it can work for me on a higher time frame let me know your results as well in the comments down below so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you for watching